Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Neon Genesis Evangelion episode number 21 and 22. All right, the previous two episodes. Um, Shinji had decided to go and like to run away and she decided that he won't get into the Evangelion ever again. So like he talked with his dad, he decided to go away. But finally, like, uh, like because of the sudden angel attack he like took his own decision and i think that is the main thing that we should focus on that he took his own decision it's not that his dad told him to get into the evangelion it's not that like anyone else told him to not misato no one it was himself he himself decided that okay like i'll have to get in the evangelion and like because i'm the only one here who can do something and he did it and by the end of it, even though he was in a pretty like uh, problematic situation, uh, he like it turned out that he like because of his decision making, you know, because he himself made the decision, he was able to come out of that situation. Like he was fine, and like uh, like everything was good. But in the end. I'm not sure like in the end the ending scene like uh, Shinji has come out everything is good uh, Toji is fine he is most probably going to have some injuries but that is it I think that will be the extent of it but the one thing that happened was that I'm quite curious about is like Kaji is acting as if he's going to die like you know like when he talked with Shinji she said that like this is probably the last time I'm going to be able to water these watermelons here and then in the, the end scene, like him talking with Misato saying that this is probably the last time, something like that he said. Not sure why, what that was like, is he afraid that uh, the people from the, uh, you know, the upper high, higher ups, they're going to assassinate him or something because he, he like, he, like revealed everything. I'm not sure, but let's just see, you know, like why he is saying something like that. Yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get started with episode number 21 of Neon Genesis Evangelion. I'll be putting in the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is the preference, and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go! What is this? What the? Um, I cannot follow everything. Oh, we can hear Shinji's dad's voice. Oh, what? Oh my god. What the hell is even happening here? Oh, it's a... Oh! Uh, man. Okay, some top secret documents. Or a video, I'm guessing. Alright, I'm not sure what that was, but something bad happened. <laughs> And uh, I'm guessing the, the ending scene where this like they're saying that uh, there's like spreading wings or something they're saying. I'm guessing that was the thing. No, 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 no. Was that an angel or was that an Evangelion? Like, you know how uh, like uh, unit one went berserk. 
I'm not sure. Okay. What? Wait, what's happening? Oh, this is Kaji. I was thinking this is Shinji. Nerve is born. What? Conducted Vice Commander Oh Pull the wool over the door Oh my god Wait So What the... Oh, this guy. I was thinking, who's the vice commander? Damn. New god. Oh, this is past. Damn, he's. <laughs> Whoa, what's with the dialect? Damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. Ah, <laughs> Shinji's dad. She. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. So, uh, Shinji took her mom's name. Uh, wait a minute. That's her mom. Is this? Yui Ikari, yeah, this is, must be Shinji's mom. Her voice, it's Ray's voice. So, Gendo took her wife's name, that is Gendo Ikari. And so Shinji Ikari now. No use for an actual. Oh, Rokobungi. It so that was his like you know surname. Wait, he was a he was in prison. What? Damn, he looks like, you know, one of those, yeah, like ruffians. Whoa, a lot of things are being shown this episode. He's quite expressive, you know, not like 
how he is now. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. Wow, that was quick. Okay. Damn. For talent and for um... Oh. Okay, wow. Top. Oh, here's I can okay. Antarctica. Okay, well. <laughs> Same year in tactic. Ah, there he is. Kasuragi research team. Oh, it's uh, Misato's. Yeah, he took his wife's name. <laughs> okay, it's Shinji. Wow, the time skipping. Okay, so this is where he meets uh, Misato. Oh, this is Fusugi. Hmm. Oh, damn. Mass massive meteor. Yeah, that is. There any hints that heal? Okay. Oh. Oh, she's working as a. Oh. 
professor a scientist or something okay <laughs> damn Gendo is like I don't like that too. Um okay so i'm getting it what they're trying to like explain like so like ikari is involved with the zere gavin behind him Wait, what? Yeah, what the? Wait, they want to make another impact? Is that all the reasons why that? Like the third impact, they want to make it. Oh, who is this? Oh, is this uh, Risco's mom? I forgot her name. Ah, uh, yeah, it's Risco's mom. Yeah, the Magi or Magi. Damn, Risco, like, it's either dying his hair, her hair, or like, getting. Called it. Oh, 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 okay. What did I forgot? And, uh... Okay, um, so the Vangelins are made from Adam. That I kind of got from the beginning, but. Damn, this like going back and forth, back and forth. Hmm. <laughs> Plans when you talk with her and oh, okay. Hmm. Ah. You could date this. Another dig. dig. 
Wait a minute. I was okay. I'm going to talk about this later. Experimental subject. Wait, what? Um. What? What? What's happening? Wait a minute. Oh my god, this is confusing this episode. Oh my god. Okay, well... Oh, this is Ray. So, you kind of knew him from a childhood. Yeah. Friend's daughter. Yeah, yeah. It is his child, isn't it, Ray? Oh, raise here.
um what e yeah what what the What the? Wait. What is happening this episode? What the? One of the sample of Arab to Kumbul. Okay. Oh God. What the hell is even happening? What? Wait a minute. What happened? That, that means, like we we heard a gunshot at that moment when Kaji said that. Oh, like you're late or something. 
Now, so he was waiting for Misato and who shot him? Like, I'm guessing someone shot him, didn't? Okay, like, this is confusing. Uh, like, a, a lot of things was confusing. The first thing that was confusing was the whole, uh, like, Dr. Akagi scene. Like, she was strangling Ray. Like, like, Ray's hands were, like, you know, kind of flopping. And I thought that maybe Ray died or, like, went unconscious. Like, I'm sure she did not die because, like, she's still alive now. So she went unconscious or something like that. But then, like, something weird happens the next scene. We see, like, there's, like, you know, like, uh, there's, like, these blood stains, and they were, like, kind of, like, you know, like, narrating that only Dr. Akagi was unable to be transferred because I think she is dead. Like, there's this, like, you know, the thing that they do, like, when police come into, like, comes for investigation like, for a murder or something, like, there's, like, this uh, thing that they do with chalk. Like, that thing was in the uh, wall. And there was this blood splatter so okay the only thing i can kind of figure out from that is like did ray kill her like, you know like it, it seemed as if ray herself was being strangled but then there was this like a weird sound that happened uh, okay here it is like okay she's strangling and like she looks surprised uh, when like like she realizes that she has strangled ray and there's this splatting type of sound in the next scene and then they suddenly cut off that scene and like go to another scene and when and then they're like uh, explaining how like uh, the nerve you know nerve was formed uh, okay here it is the uh, human instrument uh, instrumentality project community uh, committee chaired by dr kirill lois dissolved the research organization kehirin the next day and they formed the special duty uh, uh, what nerve as the organization that would carry out all the projects all of us were moved directly into nerve um, with the exception of one dr akagi the remarkable creator of the magi system and then we see that scene where like there's like this blood splattering and it seemed as if someone has flung someone across the whole room and he has he or she has been you know like knocked him, himself or herself i'm guessing that's dr akagi uh, in the wall and died like that so like what happened like did ray fling her like that because she is she was the only person with her you know like when she was strangling ray and like uh like at that moment like when dr akagi realizes that yeah he she is strangling ray after that there's this weird sound that happens a splatting sound which sounds as if someone you know flung dr akagi across the room as we see in the next scene and then there's this like splatter of blood in the wall so was that what happened and i'm really confused like it seemed as if like ray herself went there and like was like intentionally like trying to rile up dr akagi like she, and she was a child at that moment she went to that place and like suddenly started saying that ah uh, like uh, like dad uh, not dad like i'm i'm like i'm thinking that is like you know like i've already made the correlation that ray is uh like uh, gendo's daughter i'm not sure that's why i suddenly said dad <laughs> but uh like uh like it's quite like it's extremely like pointing towards that direction that ray is actually gendo's daughter you know because the similarity that she has with her mom uh, again i'm saying her mom with yui <laughs> yeah my mind has already settled that yeah like like shinji and um rei are like you know siblings which i think is the case isn't it so as i was saying like yeah like their like voices are like similar almost like uh like you know the, like the voice actor always is saying but that's not the point here but their voice is similar and uh they even look similar you know like i kind of noticed like they look extremely similar it's just that ray has blue hair and yeah like that really shows that she is yui's daughter and like obviously like um uh, gendo also knows her and also another weird thing happened in this episode how did yui die like i i really did not get that portion as well like 
they were like saying like this this experiment or whatever okay so another thing um uh, <clears throat> okay when they were like showing them the evangelion like the unit zero that one um so here it is uh yeah they're showing them that giant or whatever they said uh, okay here at Gehrin we called that giant adam but this is not it okay so in Gehrin he calls the, they call the giant adam but this thing that they were showing is not it it is not the original okay it's not the original so it's not the adams or it, like it's like a duplicate from the adam um then yes it is an ever made from adam by man okay that's why they said it's not the original so that means uh like like this thing uh is an evangelion okay uh, evangelion made from adam by man okay so in Gehrin, the original adam is there which i am guessing is that thing that we saw you know like crucified with a spear in its um chest so that is the adam i'm guessing that's what they're referring to and uh like so this thing is made uh on the framework of that uh, of adam and this is like a duplicate or whatever and this is made by man all right and they're saying this is the adam revival project generally known as the pro as project e and this is our mock-up fi unit zero zero so this is like a prototype which i'm obviously is like uh the future of eval uh, unit zero which like ray uses a prototype for a god all right so, so like it, it's like they're saying that the adam is like a god or something okay and then gendo says that fusuki work with me to create a new era in the history of mankind now one thing i am quite conf okay i'm going to talk about that as well a lot of things i'm really confused about in this episode like they were like so quickly like explaining everything and uh, okay and then all right so here it is uh, then like uh, fuski and yui are talking and like they're saying that uh, according to uh, the what dead scrolls or whatever like the third impact will happen in another decade or so without fail the organizations are meant to prevent the final tragedy that is what sele and gehin are uh, i suppose your idea i support your ideas not zeles uh, professor Swiski, it will be very dangerous to unleash that seal upon the world i'm really not understanding one thing here is like as far as i could understand like um like ikari and uh like dr akari they are trying to make the third impact weren't they so oh, wait a minute let me just check it again like Ikai was saying that work with men create a new era for the uh, history of mankind. Okay, so. Alright, here it is. Here's the portion which I am quite confused. Um, like Gendo and like Futsuki are talking. Okay, like Gendo says I have something I need you to look at. And. Uh, like they're taking him somewhere else it's like a cavern or uh, yeah cavern a cavern left behind by someone who was not us um though 89 percent of it is buried an underground cavern that was originally a neat spherical shape all right um is this the same as underground cavern found found at south pole the data from them are virtually identical do you intend to repeat that tragedy once again this line okay i'm guessing by tragedy he means the second impact so that means he's implying that gendo wants to repeat the same tragedy that means he wants to make another like impact like that happened which is probably going to be the third impact so 
Isn't that what he is he, he is implying? He's implying that so Gendo wants to make the third impact. Okay, and he asks, is that what you are doing? And Gendo says that whether we are or not, please determine that for yourself. All the resources mankind has to offer are being poured into that facility. And uh, now I really am like, okay, so this is what was happening there. And as far as I could understand, it was like Fuski was uh, talking about uh, with Gendo about like the third impact and he was implying that Gendo wants to make the third impact happen, which would probably like destroy the whole, like, you know, humankind. But then in the like, scene where like Yui and Fuitsuki are talking, uh, Yui is saying that, uh, here it is. Like Yui is saying that I want to stop that uh, like tragedy from happening. But isn't Yui helping Gendo? Like, you know, like they're working in the same place. So is it that like Yui has some other ideas? Was that the reason why he, she was talking with Fuitsuki at that moment? Okay, here it is. Fuitsuki, uh, Prof Professor Fuitsuki. It will be very dangerous to unleash the seal upon the world. Okay. Um, I have already handed the data over to Ikari. It's not something that can be accomplished by an individual after all. And there won't be a repeat performance of the stunt I pulled earlier. And I've uh, sort of re received a warning. Getting rid of me could be easier for them, it seems. Okay. Uh, the same goes for all the survivors. It's a simple thing to destroy people. But that's no reason for you to become an experimental subject. Here's another thing I'm confused about. What is this experimental subject they're talking about? I will go along with the flow of things. After all, that is why I am at Sere. Okay, so this means that uh, Yui herself has some other ideas, some other, you know, like, uh, like beliefs or ideals. But she's saying that I'm going along with them because that's, because the reason why I'm, I am at Zere is because of that. And then she says for Shinji. And like, this is confusing, you know, this episode. It feels as if like they, like, you know, inserted each and every information that we had. Like, like, you know, all the confusion, all the questions we had in one episode. And it's another thing that's confusing is they're like jumping around like once one time it's like 2005 the next time is 2004 the next time is again 2005 and like okay and another thing confuses me next it's like uh, <laughs> like in 2004 it's happening Shinji is at uh, like uh, you know like uh, in uh, the place uh, in their workplace Dr. Akagi is there Gendo Ikari is there, Fuski is there, and Fuski says this, what is this child doing? And they like explain that it's like um, Ikari's son. And they say it's like a special day or an important day. Okay, and then like uh, Yui talks and she says that I'm the one who has brought him. Oh, and again, this thing happens. Like she's like, Fuski says, Yui, this is your experiment today. The same experiment that she was talking about. Okay, and she says that that's why I want to show my child the bright future. Okay, so they were trying to do something here. Those were Miss Yui's final words. Now, this is what Akagi, uh, like Dr. Akagi is saying. Uh, the irregular circumstances erased her from this world. So I'm guessing that by the irregular circumstances, they're meaning something bad happened to the experiment, something irregular happened in the experiment which killed her. And then they're like showing the grave like uh, like place and uh, like Dr. Akagi says that exactly as I had wished. I'm such a horrible woman. Now obviously we know that like Akai, Dr. Akagi has some you know like had something for uh, Gendo Ikari. That's why like she is saying that yeah like just like I wanted. Like obviously because like like Yui was Shinji's uh, Ikari, uh, Gendo's wife so that's why i'm guessing like he's saying something like that like just like i wished 
and then like uh, uh, Dr. Akagi says that director Ikari, Ikari changed after that day. And then like uh, uh, Gendo starts the human instrumentality project. <sighs> like I am very much confused in this episode like uh, because of a lot of things. But we got uh, the you know basic like you know informations that we needed a lot of information from you. First thing that we got to know was like Yui uh, Ikari that is like Shinji's mom and uh you know like uh ikari's wife and uh we also got to see like uh, ritsuko and dr akagi that is and what she actually you know like how she actually worked with them and what happened to her and the the whole scene like after that when like she like starts strangling you uh, like ray that is also another weird thing which i think like maybe ray was the reason of her death is that something because it kind of implies that you know and i'm also confused as to why ray suddenly came and started saying something like that like uh you old hag and stuff like that which i'm not sure if uh gendo actually said you know i'm not sure like was that gendo actually said about her or was that something ray uh, was making up at that point at that spot just to piss her off not sure but yeah and then like uh, another weird thing happens is the whole like uh, you, know, you know like whole um, uh, kaji situation where like kaji like uh, uh, like unties a uh, fuyusuki like that i kind of saw it coming you know because kaji was kind of saying that like i'm going to get killed and i thought maybe like he was going to betray the you know like the board of directors and whatever and uh like that's why like he is afraid of them and like maybe they will like you know uh kill him because of that and uh like the same thing applied here like he saved uh dr fuski uh, fuski and fuski himself said that you are helping me like they're going to kill you you know and um then we like uh, in the next scene we see like uh, uh you know like where like he's standing and he's like it seems as if he was waiting for uh, Mis uh misato and he said that oh you're late or something like that and then there's like this gunshot or whatever and like someone shot him that means didn't it and then like misato comes back and then there's this wait a minute Just a sec, guys. Okay, here it is. Now, okay, okay. I, 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 just before this scene, Kasuragi got back his her gun. Okay, up until now, I was thinking that you know, like um, Kaji was expecting Misato, but someone else came. And shot him but maybe that's not the case you know like uh, Kaji says that hey you're late that means Misato like I was thinking he was just like you know mistaken someone else and said that hey you're late and maybe that was not Misato someone else came and shot him but maybe that really was Misato like so like I'm saying this because the the reason is because after that Misato's actions are extremely uh, weird as to like when he said she suddenly sees uh, the phone uh, with the message in it she like listens to it and starts crying that means she knows that kaji is dead so that means like did misato kill kaji i'm really confused like uh, like uh, so many things like what the hell like the discussion is also like still going on i should probably start the next like uh, uh like episode but like it's still like you know mixed up in my mind and i'm like confused about a lot of things and i'm not sure about a lot of things i have a basic like you know a, a structure in my mind and i think like it happened like that but there is still this question marks in my head which uh, obviously I, I'm sure like they'll answer in the upcoming episodes and yeah 
and uh, like also in the last scene we see like Shinji saying that I will I'm still a child because I was unable to say anything at that moment when uh, Misato was crying so I think maybe Misato was the one who killed Kaji like you know because uh, like she suddenly started crying like that after hearing her his message which means he knows she knows that Kaji is dead which can only be implied by like if like Misato killed Kaji you know and because also he she like got back her gun and there is this gunshot and also Kaji like uh, like said that hey you're late these all of this implies that Misato killed Kaji like, I wasn't even thinking like that you know because it was really like shocking to me if Misato really killed Kaji will be really shocking okay anyways uh, let's get started with the next episode I'm like dragging it is getting dragged <laughs> So anyways, I'll be putting in the subtitles and the uh, timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Uh, okay, so this is episode number 22, I forgot to mention it. So yeah, um, so here's the timer. Three, two, one, go. Who is this? Oh, this is Asuka. Damn. That was difficult. In the test. Commit. Oh my god, what the hell? Awesome. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> oh, great. Damn. At least me. If assist, okay. You have to make use of positive. Yeah. 
okay yeah whoa damn 13 so that's why Uh, he, she, she's trying to call Kaji. Oh. Oh my god, the atmosphere is really... Yeah, he is dead, that means. And Misato knows it, so that means... Oh. Mother. So, is, is her mom okay now? Like, she was kind of... Oh, is this German? Yeah. I cannot understand, like... Now, so, her mom is okay now? The... Oh, her face, what the hell? Only on the surface. Oh! What? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Damn. Okay. <laughs> Damn, wow, that that's something like first child. Oh Ray. Her test scores are falling. Negative twi- 
Whoa. Oh. Change the course in it. Yeah. The shoulder seated. Who is there? Is this Ray? I think it's Ray. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, great. I was Asuka's going to say something. I'm sure about it. Um... Uh, what? What's happening? Hmm. Oh. Ray talked first. That's unusual. <laughs> oh my god yeah her puppet whole thing with her mom Yeah. Whoa, damn. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you you're talking with it like, <laughs> like you know, you're saying that that it's, uh, it's a uh, you know like a machine, but you're still talking with it, you know. Whoa. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, the, the launching unit zero. Okay, and how Shinji?
Come on, Asuka. Oh, great. Where's Shinji? Like, oh, Shinji is still. Uh, Mm. Yeah, like Okay, yeah <sighs> now what like she's acting rashly yeah exactly hmm. okay outside still outside Come on, calm down, Asuka. Like, patience. Oh, great. Wait, what? What's with the... Psychological? What the... It's still in the orbit. That means, like, such a distance. Yeah, oh great. Wow, now the angels are using psychological attacks. <laughs> oh my god. Visible spectrum. Okay, like get out of that, you know? Oh boy. Oh god. Oh. Uh. Oh. the music oh my god what the Okay, it is here. Ah, uh, oh my god. The, yeah, the 80 field. Yeah, and the range is so... yeah oh my god wow um yeah you should probably stop it this is this is dad isn't it sir
Moment. Wow. Wow, this is her pers the way she's talking. This is race all. Great, wow, like. Wow. <laughs> mm. Whoa. Damn. The same thing that happened to Shinji, you know? Like how he was suffering. Oh God. Oh no. Ugh. Zero. Yeah, like I think, but but like Shinji. Longness. Oh. Oh. But it with Angel was not the cause. Oh. won't happen at least not because of this yeah like so
Oh, this is a lens of longiness. Oh yeah, okay. Oh! Okay, will it? Okay, okay, it's going through. Okay, it went in. Okay, it's gone. Damn. Moving into the lunar orbit. Yeah, I think so. Damn, it's like, you know, moving around in space. Okay, what happened to Asuka? Okay. Is that Shinji? Oh. Wow, God damn this. Was something well? Okay, so like this was like Asuka's kind of backstory and what happened, and now I don't know. Like, um, few things I have to. Like, so one thing we got to know was that Asuka's actual, like, real mom, biological mom, she, like, we know that in one of the previous episodes, she was kind of, you know, like, crying by, like, uh, and, like, calling her mom's name uh, at night. And, like, from that, uh, like, we already knew that there is something with her and her mom. So this is what it was. Now, her mom was, uh, like mentally kind of uh like you know like mentally ill in some way so that's why like uh, like as they like said that uh he thought uh the doll was asuka and like was treating the doll like asuka and okay that's the end and uh like she like uh, treated the doll like asuka and like did not recognize her uh, like you know her like daughter and like that was i'm guessing that was the like psychological problem she had and um i'm not actually sure what happened to her did she commit suicide i think that is more the most probable uh, thing that happened because you know like she was kind of saying that like uh like die with me like like talking with asuka and saying that yeah die with me she was saying And uh, I'm guessing like she must have committed suicide after that. Like this is not shown, but I think that like the way it kind of went, it kind of showed like it kind of happened like that. And she was also telling Asuka to, you know, like, um, 
die with her and <laughs> like this episode was also a little bit confused. like not as much as the previous episode but there are a few questions i have the first question is like what happened to her mom uh, uh most probably she died as i said like she must have most probably have committed suicide and like as they were like showing you know that a doll kind of hanging and like she was also like saying that like Asuka die with me and Asuka was saying that don't kill me like I'm not your doll and like all of these kind of things and and then like and then there's like one time when uh, Asuka says that okay I'll die with you mom so please don't quit being my mom okay mom and then her mom suddenly says mom I don't know what you mean who are you now you know what I think actually happened here uh, like it seems as if she was telling Asuka to kill herself along with her but then in the next scene like she says that who are you so that means she was not telling that you know her child Asuka to kill herself she was talking with the doll that's why the doll is so is like shown like hanging by the you know that noose uh, so like this is what happened that means like uh, obviously like her mom uh, confuses her the doll with Asuka she thinks that the doll is Asuka that is her uh, like real child and she was saying that Asuka like please die with me and the like original Asuka she says that okay like I'll die but uh, don't like you know like don't stop being my mom uh, like just keep being my mom and her mom says who are you like what are you even saying you're not my like I don't know you so like like I don't know like that means like she must have hanged herself after that didn't she and uh, along with her she also hanged the doll like which was like being shown in this episode when they were like showing the doll hanging by that uh, like rope so that means she didn't even acknowledge her like you know her real child as Asuka even uh, when she died she was still confusing the doll with Asuka I don't know like this is just something that I like got from that scene like I'm not sure if that is the actual case or maybe that's not it but yeah and another thing like I can like say from this episode is Asuka has identity crisis I'm not sure but I think so because like you know like when there's like there's this showing this scene when like Asuka is like kind of talking in each and every like voice like all the other voice like Ray's voice also I can I think I kind of heard the class rep's voice as well and she was saying like no no this is not me and like it was like breaking and then another scene came in and like it was like repeating like that and um that like shows like if she really suffers from this like like who she is and what is her significance in this world I'm sure like this is the reason behind this is because her mom like you know always talked with that doll uh like and like that kind of made her like you know like get an uh, herself get an like psychological problem of that whole identity crisis like her seeing her mom talking with the doll as if it was her that like that made her um, must have made her think that who the hell am, am i then like she, my mom is talking with the doll my dad is like like doing whatever the hell he he wants to uh like my dad has like uh, remarried as well my like uh my stepmom she uh, like as she said that it's like i like we have like good conversations but that's it i don't like her personally but i just act like it's like her whole like character is acting like it's like she is acting like whole her whole life she has been acting and that i think that kind of made her forget who she herself is how she actually sh like should behave with other people you know that's why i'm sure like she is like like this like you know like always lashing in front of others kind of like uh, trying to act uh, like tough and like you know like jealous of everyone especially shinji rei each and everyone 
and um like it's weird like that's why that's why like you know like these are all the things like her like childhood has been so bad that she is like this now and i uh, like <clears throat> like yeah like it's really sad like thinking about it um now like you know like i've seen a lot of people like obviously like anyanjan evangelion has been here for a long time and i've seen a lot of people like hate aska like in, like you know because obviously like there's this whole thing with like hating sundares and i kind of like get it why why they're like hating on aska because like she is a little bit too much you know a, a bit too much in the like sun side like she like is like too what can i say like you know like bratty too uh like uh, like like is extremely rude and all of these kind of things but like seeing this episode i can kind of understand like uh that yeah like this is not her fault like it's not that she is like this because like you know like because uh, like there's a reason behind why she is like this and after knowing that i think um uh, like you know like the hate that she gets is uh like like what can i say like the hate that a lot of people give her should probably not be directed at her but you know like the actual problem was her surroundings how she grew up that made her the person that she is now so like that is the main problem here and uh like i've always seen like whenever like when asuka was introduced i've always seen this from the beginning that as i said like she tries to act tough and like which shows that she's trying to hide the insecurity behind a tough exterior like that's asuka like she's trying to hide her insecurity her weaknesses each and everything that like you know she's trying to hide it behind like that tough exterior she is like so that no one pities her and like that's also the reason why she's so jealous of everyone uh, you know like of, of shinji and like she thinks that yeah like i'm going to do everything better than all the other people and i'm better than everyone that's the reason why like that's just what she does to hide her weaknesses that's it that's asuka and um like i feel bad you no know, that's what i feel for her i feel bad for her because her past is kind of messed up you know like imagine having a mom who doesn't recognize you and talks to a doll by like you know referring to the doll by your name just imagine and your dad fooling around with that nurse you know like that, I, i kind of understood what was happening like it was his her dad wasn't it and and like being a child like experiencing that situation being uh, i think she was like barely 5 at that age so like 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 why are we even blaming her you know for her behavior the problem is was her surroundings that was the problem if aska was born in a completely normal environment in with loving parents she wouldn't have been like this so like in a way no one is at fault a little like her dad has a little bit of fault i think in a way but other than that like no one is at fault the circumstances are at uh you know wrong in here and as i said like i only feel bad for her that's the only thing that i feel and like you know like like there's this one like where is that portion uh where she says that like she shows her vulnerability like there was a moment when she kind of showed that where was that portion um god damn it i cannot find it now uh just a sec let me just check you know i cannot find it like that portion i'm talking about like in this episode it was shown where like uh like when uh, asuka like tries to go f- like uh, like call for kaji oh i think it was in this position just a sec let me just check again and like she t- like asks for like you know kind of tries to catch kaji 
and like Kaji is there and Kaji says that you're still a child and like Shinji is also there um Asuka like says why are you there you won't do anything you won't help me you won't even hold me no one no one so look at me and ah, there it is like that's the place where she shows her vulnerability and um yeah that shows that all of this time like, like you know they're, like they're showing showing us these kind of scenes like what happened with shinji like whenever like she talked badly with shinji she acted you know uh like too bratty with him it was showing us those scenes and then that shows that whatever that she was doing at that moment that was her tough exterior her mask that she was wearing that was not what she felt in like you know in her heart in her heart she was asking for help and then like there's like this scene when like Asuka is sitting and there's a small Asuka and that small Asuka is saying that are you lonely and <clears throat> Like the small Asuka is like holding a little doll. And yeah, like that's it. And I think like there's this whole thing with, you know, the uh, hedgehog's dilemma uh, with um, uh, Shinji. You know, I think it was episode four or something where there's like whenever people come close with him, he hurts that person. That's like a hedgehog's dilemma. I think uh, like Asuka also has that like like she wants people close she wants people to look at her sh to talk to her to you know in, uh, like help her she wants that she wants help but whenever someone comes to help her the you know the porcupine's thrown uh, uh, not thrown thorn what the hell am I saying the porcupine's thorns or those spikes the hedgehog spikes those sting the person who is trying to help her and they like back off the same thing so like shinji and asuka they're like the same person like each and every, like both of them have their own problems but both of like the problems they have like the whole hedgehog's dilemma both of them have it and like yeah like that is it and like in the end like when uh ray helped her like she kind of again like gets back into that shell and says that like it was like like that woman had to help me like I, I, I like i don't i cannot accept that and i think the reason why she hates ray so much is like because you know there's like a lot of reason the first reason is like as she explained that like you're like a doll you know like uh, if uh, like uh, gendo ikari asked you die would you die and like ray said that yeah i would die and she like slaps her and says that you're a doll and her like you know the whole thing with the doll her mom talking with dolls and everything and like she like i think that disgusts her the most so that's why she hates uh, you know ray so much and i think there's another underlying reason why she hates ray i think that's jealousy you know like there's this one episode where like shinji and ray had this perfect synchronization rate and like uh after and like after seeing that like uh asuka started crying like, that is the biggest proof that we need like in this episode also we saw like when shinji was standing and ray was beside her and like you know shinji was talking in like with ray in another platform and asuka was standing on another platform she was looking at shinji and saying that oh like you like you have already bounced back like uh, like you know like acting as if nothing happened and stuff like that she was saying that was also like and she was also looking at ray at that moment i think that also kind of shows like jealousy for like like you know ray because i think like asuka wanted like shinji the most to like understand her like that's one thing that she wants and because of her tough exterior and everything she obviously like is unable to express that and that also kind of was shown in this episode where in the like you know in the flashback not flashbacks but in that scene where she says that like uh, like when Shinji's like you know face floats up and she says that uh, like uh, you know why don't you try to understand me like stuff like that and yeah these are all the things that happened happened in this episode and this was mainly obviously like Sent it to us, Asuka, and 
like she is in a bad position you know her especially her mental like situation extremely bad and i don't know like what's going to happen after this so yeah like both these episodes were something else completely and yeah like ask us problems and like you know the previous days like Mits uh, misato's all of these th th those things that happened uh, fuski's uh, situation G gendo's situation ikari's uh, like shinji's situation rei's situation like each has some kind of a problem and yeah this is like <laughs> you know like a, what can i say like a gang of people like a gang of dysfunctional people that's the neon genesis evangelion like it's a show about a like group of dysfunctional people like each and every person has something yeah like yeah and i really don't know what is going to happen after this like asuka's like really you know like mentally unstable now and i think the best person who could probably you know tackle this situation is shinji but you know what i really do not have that much faith in shinji because of his personality you know because in the previous episode he himself said that i'm still a child when misato was crying like i'm still a child and cannot do anything and i don't know if he would do something for asuka or like it will be this repeat of the same situation but if like you know like it's a problem if this continues so yeah so anyways guys so i've talked enough it has been quite a long while the video is ongoing uh, these two episodes were something else like it was a big package of a lot of things so i had to like you know like talk about it so thank you guys for watching so this was neon genesis evangelion i'm still confused about a few things which i'm sure will be uh, answered eventually i'm guessing like this is 22 like we have four episodes left i'm guessing we'll get, get some kind of conclusion by that and i th i think like there's like an alternative ending of this show as well like 25 and 26 episode, uh, episode number 25 and 26 so obviously i'm going to do that as well so yeah let's see like in this like one two three in these six episodes if some things are answered you know like all the things are answered i'm sure it will be answered or yeah so thank you guys for watching so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed please consider doing so Comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share and I'll be sure to check them out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video with two more episodes of Neon Genesis Evangelion. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.